All right, so Unreal Engine projects are basically packaged containers full of assets that are wrapped up in a file type called U asset. Now, all of your FBX models and PNG textures that you bring into a project are all converted to this U asset type when you import them. And while you can technically export models and textures back out of the engine, there are still a lot of files in your content browser that are Unreal Engine specific. In this video, I wanted to show you how to migrate these Unreal specific U assets between project A to project B. Let's get started. For this exercise, I've provided you with a small pack of custom assets from one of my personal projects that you can use to practice this with. Now you're also free to practice this process with any Unreal Engine projects you may already have. All right, let's jump right in. All right, here we are. I have two Unreal Engine projects side by side. On the left, I have my working project that I'm working in. And on the right, I have a project that has some assets in it that I want to migrate over to the working project. Now this is actually really easy to do. So what I'm gonna do is go in here under my content, I'm gonna go into this LDA assets folder and go into this prefabs. And I've got a couple of uh, blueprint prefabs that I've gotten here, such as this bp underscore magic bottle if i drag this out into the world you can see what that is now if i want to get this over into this project it's actually really easy all you have to do is right click on this and you're going to go up here to asset actions then we can come down to migrate and i'm not going to save this map here but once you select migrate it's going to give you your asset report which is going to show you all of the dependencies that this particular asset has. So this blueprint prefab here, you can see it right there. Uh, it has my magic bottle 01 static mesh, which has the M underscore magic bottle material applied to it, which uses these four texture maps in here. Now, when I migrate this one asset, it's going to migrate all of this stuff with it and it's going to keep its folder structure. So what I'm gonna do now is I just click OK and then where this takes me is the content folder of the Unreal project that I'm currently in. So what I need to do now is find the content folder for the project that I wanna to migrate to. So that would be up here in this. I'm gonna go into this one right here. And this is the very important part. You cannot skip this. You have to do this part right. You need to go not only into your project, but you need to go into that project's content folder in order to migrate it. Once you've done that, you're in the content folder, you hit select folder, you'll see that. And then now over here in this project, you'll see that it's added this LDA underscore alley assets folder, which let me go ahead and maximize that. And in this, we have the prefabs folder, which has my magic bottle here. And of course we have the props folder with the mesh in it. Uh, we have the materials folder with the actual material applied. And we have the textures folder that has those textures for that mesh and only that stuff. So if we look back over here, this folder has a bunch of other stuff in it. Let me go into the props here uh, and you'll see this load up, but we have all of these cloth projects, the crate and barrels, all of this stuff in here. And none of that got migrated. It was only this magic bottle blueprint prefab that got migrated because that's the only thing that we selected to get migrated. Now, if I wanted to migrate all of this stuff old over, I could go to this folder, go up to content here, and I can actually right click and go up to migrate and I could migrate everything in this folder over to that project. So I'll click OK and it is still in the content folder of my other project because that's where I navigated it to. It saved that spot. But this is my first Unreal project over here. Content folder. I can hit select folder. It's going to move everything. And what we're going to get here, we get this little message that says an asset already exists at that location, uh, referring to the magic bottle asset that we've already migrated. Now we could click yes to all, 
and let it overwrite it because we haven't actually changed anything. But also we already have it in the project so we don't need to overwrite it. So I can hit no to all on this and it'll leave the previous version that we migrated before in there. Now, if I were to go into this props folder, we can see all these other meshes that have now been migrated in here along with their materials, their textures, and all of that. So if I were to go into this prefabs folder here, I now also have my lantern, which I can bring out, which this is just a blueprint prefab that I set up that happens to have the ability to toggle the light on like that or toggle it off. And if I were to go up here to my directional light, I'm just going to turn off effect world real fast. There we go. Now it's all dark. I can go back to my lantern, toggle that light on, and you can see what these are doing. So you can see that all of the functionality that was included in the blueprints for these also copied over when we migrated them. One last thing I wanted to mention on migrating between projects is that you can go up a version, but you can't go down. So for example, let's say you wanna migrate from a 5.0 project into a 5.1 project, you can do that. Unreal will automatically upgrade your U assets for you. However, you cannot migrate from a 5.1 project down to a 5.0 project because the U assets will not downgrade. All right, now you know how to migrate assets between projects. This is useful for if you need to move some old work to a new project, or you need to migrate something from a marketplace project, or even if you just wanna clean out a working project by migrating just the good stuff into a fresh project and then leaving the rest behind. It's all a very useful process. So play around with migrating from the project download I've provided, and I'll see you next time.